Hello everyone, this is Firoz Nadaf. I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain you about uh, method of analysis of trust, what are the different methods of analysis of the trust and what are its sign conventions. Uh, there are two method by which we can analyze statically determinate trusses. Those are method of joints and method of section. In method of joints you see we have to consider all the joints. We have to take all the joints into consideration when we are going to analyze the truss. Each and every joint will be considered a free body diagram will be drawn. And you see in the truss analysis what we will do we will calculate the member forces commonly known as uh, the axial force in the trusses. Normally what is happening when a truss is subjected to uh, external load, the truss respond. The truss respond in terms of developing axial force. So, there are all, all the members will develop axial forces. Some of the axial forces will be uh, towards the joint. You can see the uh, for member AD, the axial force is towards the joint and for member AB, the axial force is away from the joint. We need to understand what is this towards the joint and what is this away from the joint. Now, we will see the sign convention for uh, internal axial forces that are developed in the trusses. Uh, Let us take the example of a single member, we just we will just isolate one member and we will analyze that single member. This single member has two joints and now it is subjected to a compressive forces. So, when it is subjected to compressive forces, this member react by developing axial force, by developing internal axial force. And here the internal axial force is towards the joint. That towards the joint is in response to the external load. So, when the member is developing internal axial force towards the joint, it means that that member is subjected to compressive force. Similarly, you can take the uh, example of single member and here it is subjected to tensile force and it will develop the internal axial force. So, in this case the internal axial force is away from the joint. So, when you encounter that the internal axial force is towards the joint, it means that that member is subjected to compressive forces and when you en encounter that uh, the internal axial force is away from the joint, it means that the member is subjected to tensile force. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.